Let's start with Galamse. It is emerging that 141 people have been convicted out of a total of 1,374 arrested for engaging in illegal mining, popularly known as you know as Galamse. This is according to the coordinator of the Multisectoral Pl uh, Mining Integrated Project, M M M MIP, introduced by the government, and his name is Dr. Isaac Kerry. Now, the number represents convictions and, and arrests by the Operation Vanguard team since it was launched in July 2017. Speaking on behalf of the Lands and Natural Resources Minister at the 7th Dialogue Policy Series organized by the Ministry of Planning and Aqua, Dr. Karakari stated that for effective progress to be made in the fight against illegal mining, there should be a complete review of mining laws to engage traditional rulers more. Oh yes, the, the Operation Vanguard has made a lot of progress. Um, we think that, um, well, they could have done better, but looking at circumstances and the fact that they are constrained by logistics and things like that, um, I think they've done a lot. Uh, the arrests have been very huge uh, in, in my mind, looking at the challenges on the ground. But the conventions have been very low, and so we are thinking that, um, especially working with the World Bank, we need to look at it again and see whether moving forward we need to keep our soldiers on the ground for that long. Eventually, perhaps what will happen is that when the multi-sectoral mining integrated project kicks in, they may, they may be used only for emergency purposes, but because uh, we are uh, advocating for the, the creation of what we call the mining guards who would be deployed and then uh, try to use um, drones and so on to be able to combat uh, this menace. So um, um, uh, the, 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 the strategies are there. Uh, they may be involved at a level, but it not be as if they will be kept on the ground for that long. Mm. So I think that for the moment they've done very well, and we should congratulate uh, our, our, our troops for having made sure that some discipline is, was brought at that level of, of land devastation. The, the World Bank is saying that it's costing us 20 million US dollars to keep them. That would be the time. Uh, the World Bank has interesting uh, issues. We are working with them now in the MIP region. They think that that option was ineffective uh, because they are looking at it more from a point of view of reputational risk and, 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 and so on. But um, we wouldn't want to do this if, if the, the issues are not uh, that, that, that uh, difficult and challenging. So, um, well, we, 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 they think that for us to keep them there, it will cost about 20 million US dollars, which could be sent to other sectors. You would tend to agree with them to some extent, but looking at it holistically, I believe that it's, it's a very good step we did in the initial stages, but technically, uh, from a technical point of view, I think that they cannot be there forever. They ought also may want to go back to the barracks, but that will really happen uh, on the orders of the president. There are some perceptions out there that none of them have been involved. I am not the person to say yes or no. But uh, one thing that clearly came out on our investigation is that uh, they've not been allowed to have some control and management on the small scale sector. They own the surface rights. But you can imagine uh, they being there and then just, just, just uh, not being allowed to get involved. You know, so now we are trying to look at the law and see how they could be involved rather than just uh, being, being informed. Dr. Kakari there, now chairman of the Energy and Mines Committee, Emmanuel Edujemfi, has also been speaking about the progress made by the MMIP so far. Um, the impact is so great. Um, it's, it's not just about the, the water bodies being polluted, but the, the social fabric is also being impacted seriously. Our farm lands are being destroyed. It's a, it's a, a whole lot of issues. Um, it is not easy because I have said it is a bread and butter issue. It is a bad job. You, you will not sit down hungry. When you see there's good, there's an opportunity to, to, to get something, you sell, you get money, and you are okay. So uh, it has not been easy fighting the, the, the uh, illegal activities. But um, if you look at the, the negative impact, uh, we need to admit as, as, as people that we cannot continue with that. They've made some prosecutions, but just so, 
the, the, the activities surrounding this illegal mining, you, you, you hear about them. So even though we have achieved some uh, percentage or we've made some progress, we still have to work hard to let it work. And for me, what I see to be the positive way to do it is to get this uh, multi-sectorial mining integrated project to, 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 to start running. Uh, as we've been told, we need about 200 million USD uh, to, to start the project. And I'm pleading with government to look for this money.